Hi guys, this is a little something for you if you're into uh, RF construction or I guess any sort of uh, uh, radio construction but uh, it's just a, a little idea that uh, I had today and I, I thought I'd share it with you guys. I've been uh, playing with some uh, simple transmitter circuits and I've been building the circuits on Vero board and uh, I had a look on YouTube to see what other folks are doing and I see they're using uh, continuously coated board and then they're cutting out little pads and sticking them onto the board. And that gave me an idea for uh, another way of doing the same thing. I was going to build a uh, little transmitter on uh, this bit of board um, and I was going to cut out the lands. You can see the daylight where I've cut the copper and uh, it's difficult doing that with a scalpel so I've come up with another idea. The thing to do is to make sure that you don't drill all the way through the printed circuit board but what this does it gives you the little lands um, that you can then uh, solder onto. With a fine cut file, cut uh, a series of teeth uh, another way to hold the uh, uh, this little f ferrule is uh, I've got a drill here, it happens to be a masonry drill but it's just a nice size to fit in there and then uh, what I'm going to do is pull that down there so, uh, but I can hold that and turn it what I want to do is file it so that there are there is no flat land uh, there's just the sloping edge and the cutting face. Uh, clean that on the inside. And there's my cutter. So, there you go, there's the cutter. Not beautiful, but fit for purpose. If you open up a uh, conventional VHS tape, um, you'll see the tape guide here and here are made of stainless steel, and uh, this is uh, that's that's what's in there when you undo however many screws there are. If you think the tube is going to get squashed in the jaws of the chock then um, simply find a bit of metal that'll uh, sort of fill the hole. In this case I've uh, got a bolt that I'm going to cut off. If you want to use the cutter in a hand drill it's tricky. I've just uh, tried this one and it's uh, dodging around. Um, but what I've done is I've drilled all the way through and I've got another bit of board here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich those two together and I'm going to use that hole uh, which I cut deliberately as a guide to get me into the next uh, layer that's a double sided board I guess the thing is with that hole you could actually look through and see if you mark the bottom board with uh, uh, a marker pen you could actually see uh, where you're <laughs> where you're targeting let's clamp that up there Zoom in a bit. don't know if I've gone deep enough no sugar anyway at least I can see to uh, put that on in the right place again. It's a lot easier with a pedestal drill but if you 
do use this and um, you can give me the credit because I haven't seen it used anywhere else okay so obviously uh, what you do is go through with a meter and make sure that uh, each land is uh, isolated um, but uh, I think that could uh, make a, a basis of a nice little uh, transmitter which is uh, what I was playing with at the moment well or any other little RF circuit I guess any little circuit um, so uh, my name's Andy Davis Golf Whiskey Zero Japan X-Ray Mexico Remember, you saw it here first. Um, hope you use it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.